What is going on guys? Rewinds here and in today's video we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 83. So this is going to be my expectations and predictions for the chapter. Last month we ended on a flashback so we're going to be continuing that in this chapter and I'm assuming that this isn't going to take up the whole chapter but I wouldn't be mad if it did as long as it doesn't feel like it's dragging out. But Bardock vs. Gas will be the highlight of this chapter. How that fight ended, what did Bardock do to defeat Gas, someone who is just straight up stronger than him, what could his potential weakness be? So, um, I'm expecting personally for Bardock vs. Gas to take up at least half of this chapter, if not all of it. Um, and I say that because... I think Bardock is a big enough character to the point where Toyotaro would have enough content in this story to like flesh out a really good fight along with some nice story points of how this arc um, could potentially end because it could reveal how Gas was defeated, right? Um, and I feel like that's what the big reveal is going to be towards the end of the chapter and then maybe we're going to cut back to the present and get some reactions or maybe who knows gas will probably arrive maybe by then too in the present time in the dragon ball super manga so that's also possible and here's what i'm guessing right i feel like bardock in this flashback is gonna get a power up of some sort but i don't think it's gonna be super saiyan i know a lot of people are worried that they might botch this in a way and give him Super Saiyan because that would kind of take away from Goku being the first Super Saiyan, right? In like who knows how many years in that universe, right? Um, but I don't think he's going to get that. But he might get some type of Ozaru power-up, I'm guessing, where his strength is multiplied by 10 instead of 50. And I think that's a possibility because there was a shot a few chapters ago where... We saw a flashback and Bardock was there without his tail. So that could potentially have something to do with that. Or it could have been an error on Toyotaro's part. Um, I guess we will find that out for sure in this chapter. But I'm going to go and guess with that it's a new um, power-up of some sort. And I'm also hoping that Gas has a true weakness instead of Bardock just overpowering him. Because I think that would be kind of lame and I think that's something that people would definitely uh, use to hate on this arc. Because um, a issue that I guess people have with Dragon Ball sometimes is some of these arcs will be starting off like really really strong. Um, especially these days and then you'll have someone win through overpowering the opponent rather than i guess being a little more tactical so i guess for example people would have liked maybe if vegeta won against uh moro using four spirit fission right rather than um what happened with goku i guess necessarily because goku uh technically did overpower him for a while when you had mui uh but i do believe in my opinion that the moral arc was done pretty well, even at the end. I liked how everybody came together and played a role um, in defeating Moro, and I feel like that was a good uh, exception for this. But I do agree that in general, um, that especially going on from here, that we don't want the arc to just end uh, because somebody simply overpowers somebody. It would be cool if there was a weakness, um, but. You can have like Goku and Vegeta maybe like team up to beat Gas in some sort of way to overpower him. That would be different, but uh, I guess the whole point is you just don't want the arc to go down in like a super similar way that previous arcs have gone down. And um, I'm also going to say that a lot of previous arcs didn't necessarily have Goku winning a lot of the time, so I... Whenever I hear people saying Goku always wins, I disagree with that because there's a lot of times Goku actually loses. 
The Moro arc was an arc that Goku got a well-deserved win in my opinion. And I think MUI was the perfect way to do that. And like I said, they involved all these other uh, characters as well. And I think it gave it a pretty satisfactory ending in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, enough of the Moro arc. Uh, back to this one. I'm hoping the same thing here that we get a nice ending. Hopefully Goku and Vegeta are both involved and Granola definitely involved. Um, Granola definitely needs to kill Alec. That's something I need to see for sure. But Goku and Vegeta can go for gas. It's okay for me in my opinion if Goku's the one who beats gas because there's more of a story link to him than Vegeta in this case. So makes more sense to me in that in that way, but Vegeta should definitely play a helping hand for sure. Um, and I'm also hoping that Gas's weakness is not the whole Magetta weakness, where you know he's just super sensitive or something. I guess that has already been you know debunked in a little way because Goku has been getting in his head in chapter 82 when he did the whole instant transmission thing and left him behind so i don't think that's his weakness but you honestly never know what they're gonna pull uh pull out for his weakness so we'll see um another thing i want to see in this chapter is especially if this flashback ends in time and we have some pages in the present i want goku to form an opinion on bardock it doesn't necessarily have to be like a super character changing opinion but I want him to at least acknowledge what Bardock did and to discuss him a little bit. I think that would be nice. And I think that's something a lot of people have wanted. I know for some reason a few people really, really don't want Goku to have anything to do with Bardock or his mother. Um, but, you know, we're here and it's definitely going to happen. So, you know, it's time to accept that that's how it's going to be. Um, I also would like to see Vegeta give Goku some of his input on Bardock or just give some input in general about this fight. Uh, it would be cool to know what kind of prior knowledge Vegeta has on Bardock because it doesn't really sound like he knows much aside from the fact that he was supposed to be a lower class warrior. Um, another big thing that would be important for this chapter would be if Granola either wakes up or is making progress through getting healed by Monaito. That would be very, very important because Granola does need to be involved in the ending of this arc. I am going to be mad if they write him off here and they just have Goku and Vegeta take care of everybody because I feel like Granola deserves his happy ending in at least a part of him being able to take out Elec. So, um, the next thing that i would say that i want from this chapter is gas arriving back on planet serial by the end of it or at least you know a panel or two of us seeing how far he has gotten and i sure hope he remembers that he can use uh instant transmission when he's close enough now and i feel like that is going to be something he ends up doing another potential thing that they could do to wrap up this chapter on a high note would be to have goku tap into ui uh, like actual MUI to show that he's really serious and that this is going to be like the final uh, clash with gas so um, that would be a cool ending face to face MUI Goku gas powered up and um, hopefully they don't do the MUI form dirty I don't think Goku should necessarily be tapping in this new level of MUI just yet like this chapter but I do think it's going to happen since they've talked about it it's being foreshadowed I do think it's going to happen. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be a whole new look to it or if it's going to be a slight change or perhaps it won't even be um, a look change. Perhaps it could just be more of an acceptance type of thing because we s ask Goku, like, whom are you really, right? So um, Goku, as soon as he accepts what he really is, maybe that's going to enhance the form in some sort of way. But I guess time will tell. Uh, if it is a new looking form with some new colors or something, then, well, I hope they choose the color wisely. I don't know what route they're going to go, but, you know, uh, we'll find out. But that's my predictions and expectations for this chapter. Let me know what you're expecting for this chapter in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Especially if you want some quick coverage of the spoilers for Boruto and Dragon Ball Super. I'm always trying my best to be on top of that. But um, hope you guys have a good day or night whenever you guys are watching this video. 
I'm Rewinds, and I'm out.